Hey y'all, it's Donella, and now I would like to talk about uh, Mama Joyce and her foolishness. Um, this week's episode, she went to see Phaedra in her office to talk about Candy's issues and her prenup. Now, why is she going to an attorney's office to talk about her daughter's business? And let me just say this. Babies know evil when they see it. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have children, but I have raised to help to raise two godchildren. And when I have taken them around people who meant me no good, they stayed far away from them. They didn't want to be bothered with them. Wasn't no saying hi, wasn't no giving them no hug, no nothing. And y'all saw when Mama Joyce came into that office, that little boy didn't want to have anything to do with her. His mama even said, oh, excuse me, mama even said, if you say hi to Mama Joyce, I will give you a treat. This boy had the good sense enough to say, I don't want no treat. Evil. Babies know evil when they see it. It's something going on with Mama Joyce. She's not just out to uh, look after her child's best interest. She's looking after her own best interest. And she showed that again this week, I believe. You don't go to an attorney, whether it's your daughter's friend or your family attorney, to discuss your child's prenup. You don't have anything to do with that. Then she's going to lie and say that when she mentioned the uh, phrase, the lifestyle that I have come accustomed to, he said he wasn't going to sign it. That's not what he said. He said, I'm not going to talk about signing anything right now. First and foremost, because it's none of your damn business. You got your little cushion. Your child is going to take care of you. You have your little cushion. She done gave you her house. She probably has, you know, you on her credit card thing. For you to be able to swipe your little card and do whatever you want. Everybody knows who you are. So why can't you be happy with that? Let your child be happy. Let your child be happy. That's all I'm going to say about Mama Joyce and her tomfoolery. Now, this bus trip to Savannah, them bitches would have been left in the heat. Miss Nene told them women to be there at 1030. And then a couple of them getting there two hours, three hours late. Are you serious? For a trip that somebody else is paying for? No, ma'am. It wouldn't be me, sweetie, because I would be by my damn self going to take a tour of the Underground Railroad and all of that with my cocktails in my hand. And y'all would have just been at the spot talking about where you at. No, bitch. The question is, where were you when it was time to go? That's just so inconsiderate. I mean, just because you have money. Just because you have a driver and, you know, everybody understands you have a life, you have things to do, you have other priorities and stuff. But if you make plans and if you make an agreement to meet someone who is going out of their way to pay for a trip, you know, having a grand villa and all of this other kind of stuff, you don't have to do anything but show up. Show up, bitch. Show up. Okay? <laughs> I have left many a fool, sweetie. Meet me such and such a time, such and such a place, because we going over here. When I get there, I'm not, you know, just outwardly nasty and rude. I'm going to give you a good 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, if you're not there, if you haven't called, to tell me why you're not there, your monkey ass is left. And I got people that will verify, yeah, that bitch Donella will leave you. A 
I'm sorry. I will leave you. That's it. But we will see how things turn out. Uh, Miss Portia and her um, Underground Railroad foolishness. Yeah, make sure y'all tune in for that. Because that's just unbelievable. A grown-ass woman not knowing her roots. Not knowing and not caring about where she comes from. So, yeah. That's my take on this week's uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Put your comments down in the comment section so we can discuss. Peace out, y'all.